Hey football fans, welcome back to Football News Center. Today we have some breaking news about Everton's points deduction for breaching Premier League spending rules. The club's 10-point deduction has been reduced to 6 points after their appeal. This means that Everton moves up to 15th place in the Premier League, 5 points clear of the relegation zone. It's definitely a relief for the club and their manager, Sean Dyke who has expressed concern about the psychological effect this ordeal has had on his players. The appeal was heard over three days by an independent appeal board, and they upheld two of the nine grounds presented by Everton. The original ten-point deduction has been substituted with a six-point deduction, which takes immediate effect. The Premier League has stated that they are satisfied with this decision and that the independent disciplinary process has been followed. However, it's important to note that Everton is still facing charges for the latest cycle, which will be addressed next month. This reduction in points comes at a critical time for Everton, as they await a second panel hearing and a Premier League decision on a proposed takeover by 777 partners. This Miami-based company has agreed to purchase the majority stake in the club and has already provided significant funding. Everton is frustrated because the latest potential sanction includes accounts for two of the three years for which they have already been punished. The club believes that if only last year's financial dealings were assessed, they would have escaped a second charge. The Premier League had initially argued for a deduction of at least 12 points, but the appeal board disagreed. They determined that a six-point deduction was appropriate, taking into account various factors such as overspending misrepresentations to the league, and the breach of the upper loss threshold. Overall, this reduction in points is a positive outcome for Everton, but they still have challenges ahead. We'll keep you updated on any further developments. Thanks for watching Football News Center, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more football news. See you next time.